Women's political participation is a fundamental prerequisite to creating a gender equal world. Commonwealth Secretary General, Right Honorable Patricia Scotland, discusses advancing women participation and leadership in political and public life, and whether Malaysia is doing enough on that front. But if a country wants to really thrive, it has to invest in its human capacity. And that human capacity is, of course, 50% female. So if we don't have the advantage of women and men working together, we're never really going to be as rich as we should be in order to deliver those sustainable development goals. And we've seen in so many of our countries, the quality of governance changes when you have a joint participation of women and men working together in harmony to deliver great results for people. The Secretary General acknowledges Malaysia's effort to be more inclusive, but says there's a lot more to be done to improve women's participation in decision-making process, especially in policy making. I'm very pleased to see that, of course, in Malaysia, you've gone up from about 10% to 15%, and you've now got 33 um, MPs. But look at what's happening in Rwanda. Rwanda, where we're going to have the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, 61% of their parliament is female and just over 50% of the cabinet. And what you're seeing is that the countries who are developing quickly are really digging deep and finding that female and male talent and then delivering for their countries. Patricia said putting up measures to include more women must first begin by asking, where are the women currently? The most important thing for us to do is to make sure that uh, we're always asking, where are the women? How many times have we gone onto a platform and all of the speakers are male? How many times do we look through the higher echelons of a company or an entity and we don't see a woman's face and we don't hear a woman's voice? So I think we need to start noticing. I had a meeting just the other day and once again, I was about the only woman around that table. Well, in 2022, that's really not acceptable. And not because we are doing this because it's politically correct. It's because we know that if we don't have women's voices, we only have half of the gender. Only one gender is making the decisions in order to satisfy both genders. So we need everybody to be at the table. We are producing, for example, a, a Sustainable Development uh, Goal 5 Implementation Toolkit to support government's delivery of SDG 5 on gender equality and women's empowerment so they have some very practical, implementable things which have been tried and tested in other countries and we know they work and we're sharing it. But that SDG toolkit, it's just as important for us to understand the things that do not work so we can stop doing those and we can do that which will nurture our young, our young women. We will give them a sense of empowerment that they can do it and also having the role models. Because I know when I was growing up, people said women can't do that. You know, you don't see women doing these roles. Well, thank goodness we now do.